Hi, this is Lynn, and today I wanted to show you a real easy way to share a photo album with someone using PowerPoint 2010. Uh, they have added a feature, Photo Album, and you just click on the Insert ribbon, click on Photo Album, and New Photo Album, and you're going to get this from your computer. And I put a folder on my desktop. So double click to open it, and I'm just going to select a few of these pictures and I'm going to insert it. So then you see you have choices here of what how you want this to look when you insert it. And if you want to make all your pictures black and white, you can do that. Uh, if you want to have your picture fill up the entire slide, you can do that. Or here are the other selections. What I like to do is do one picture and have a title. That way I can put a caption on it. And then you can select different frame sizes. I kind of like the rounded rectangle. And you can see a little preview right here. And then when you have everything there, then you can click Create. And you can choose a theme here or you can choose one later. And I, I think I'm going to go ahead and, and choose one later. So I'm click Create. And I just got the blank. Uh, PowerPoint right here, but it's going to just take care of everything for me. And it says photo album in my name, and you can see it's just kind of plain. Well, I don't. I want. I want some kind of a background. So I'm going to click design because I can just mouse over, and it's going to change the photo album. I'm going to switch over to this one, and here's where you can add your title, like a caption for it. Uh, to tell people what they're looking at. So that's kind of nice. But looking at the different designs, um, you know, maybe I kind of like that one, or maybe it's too dark. Another, another thing you can do is go to this background style and click on that. And that's a little too gray. Um, I think I'll go with this one for now. And you can see it applied it to all of the, all of the slides here. And if I want to take a quick view of what that's going to look like to people, then I can just page down and go through my slides. And then remember, you can add a caption there at the top if you wish. So that's, that's an easy way to do it, to get your pictures into a PowerPoint and send them off to someone or share it. You can put it in your SkyDrive and send somebody a link. So hope that was helpful.